Always wanted to use gradient overlays inside of Photoshop, but never knew exactly where to start. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck, since in this video I'm going to walk you through the entire process and show you how easy it is to do so. I'm Andrew, and you're watching an Envato Toss Plus tutorial. So, what exactly does the gradient overlay layer style effect actually do? Well, as the name suggests, it allows you to overlay a gradient onto the surface of a layer's content in order to give it more depth. We can apply the effect on anything from a photo to a basic shape or even a text segment, the process itself being really simple as you will get to see in the following moments. For example purposes, let's say that we have a basic shape to which we want to add the gradient overlay to. We are going to start by heading over to the layers panel and then selecting the layer containing our shape. Once the layer is selected, we are going to head over to the panel's bottom section and click on the FX button which will open up a list of all the available layer styles that we can use. Here we will want to click on gradient overlay which will immediately bring up the layer style window. We can achieve the same result by double clicking on the layer itself and then checking the effect from within the styles left sided panel or by heading over to layer, layer style, gradient overlay. Once the layer style window is visible, we can easily access all these different settings, the first one being blend mode which allows us to control how the effect blends with our shape in terms of color. We can choose between 27 different blending modes, which depending on the colors of the gradient itself, will produce different looking results. Moving on down we have opacity, which allows us to adjust the transparency of the effect, where a lower value will give the overlay a more subtle look, while a higher value will give it a stronger effect. We then have gradient, which as the name suggests is where we get to choose the actual colors of the overlay itself. Here we can either go with one of the existing presets or we can click on the little gear icon and create a new one of our own. For this current example I'm going to go with this orange's pretty fine one which as you can see looks pretty good. If needed we can easily flip the gradient using the reverse checkbox which will invert the direction of the colors themselves. Next, their style, which gives us a drop down of 5 different presets, which are pretty self explanatory once you start applying them. We then have the angle spinner, which allows us to adjust the angle of the gradient itself, which might come in handy when dealing with other lighting effects that require a more accurate match in order to get that perfect look. Finally, we have scale, which allows us to alter the start and end point locations of our gradient's color stops. If we want to, we can always save the current effect settings by using the make default button or we can fully reset them using the reset to default one. Once we are done adjusting all the different settings, we can hit ok and the layers panel will update itself by displaying a little FX icon next to the corresponding layer. If needed, we can easily adjust the effect at any time by simply double clicking on it and then fine tuning it accordingly. And that's pretty much all you have to do. As always, I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.